Now, two people have been found guilty of what has been described as the barbaric torture and murder of an Auckland teenager. Toko Shane Winter, who is also known as Ashley, and Kerry Tiamo have been on trial in the High Court at Auckland, accused of murdering 17-year-old Demetrius Pairama. Today, after three weeks of evidence and three and a half hours of deliberations, the jury returned unanimous guilty verdicts. Our reporter, our court reporter, Annika Smith, has been covering the trial and joins us now. Annika, what was it like in court this afternoon? Well, it's been a long three weeks. This trial has been running all month and there were some really disturbing details that came out in this case. Just a note to listeners, there are graphic details. The jury retired just after midday and came back around three o'clock. It was quite tense when the jury first came back. I mean, there's been a huge build-up to this moment, three weeks of some of the most horrific evidence I've ever heard. Um, But when the verdicts were delivered, the family in the public gallery were quite still and quiet and I think there was a, a real sense of relief for everyone involved, police, lawyers and the jurors themselves. So have uh, Demetrius Pairama's whānau been in court most of the time? Yeah, pretty much from, from day dot. They've been day in and out. I know family members from both her mother, mothers and, and dad's side have both been there um, and they've sat through some of the worst parts of the trial so it's hard to imagine what it's been like for them. Yeah, because r- remind us, I mean this was horrendously graphic. Yeah, it it was. Um, And the judge actually, Justice Brewer, warned the jurors at the start of the trial of the nature of the details that they'd been, um, that they were about to hear. And today he actually mentioned that there were counselling services available to Mm. them. Over the past three weeks, they've heard um, that Demetrius Paidama's body was found in this um, steel drum at the back of a a derelict house in Mangere. Um, They've heard um, the details of how she got there. Um, Essentially, she was drifting with them um, in Auckland. CBD last July, they all crashed at this um, abandoned house. Um, At some point, the Crown said they weren't sure why, but the defendants turned on Miss Paidama. Um, They took turns at beating her. Uh, They stripped her, tied her to a chair, burnt her, and then Miss uh, Winter at some point asked her how she wanted to die, and she was eventually hanged. Uh, Tiamo admitted disposing of the body, but contested that he wasn't involved in the murder. But today he was was found, obviously, that um, he did play a role in her death. Mm. So what did the family have to say after the verdict? Uh, well, they hugged the, the lawyers and police outside court after the verdicts were delivered, obviously really relieved after quite a trial themselves. Um, outside court, Demetrius's mother, Lena Hitaraka Pairama, said she wanted um, her girl Demi, she called her, to be remembered as, as bubbly um, and a lovely girl that she was. Um, she described how difficult it was mm. to hear in graphic detail what had happened to her daughter. Um, and I also spoke to Demetrius's stepfather, Raymond Paul, who said he was pleased with the verdict. Here's a clip from him speaking outside court this afternoon. Oh, now they deserve what they got. You know, uh... How can you ask for more? You know, guilty is guilty. Uh, it's, been a, it's been hard for Lena and all of us, really. You know, looking at right down to the, what they call it, all the evidence of what, what they've done to her and to um, torture her that long and for the hurt that she went through. When I look at my kids, you know, Demetrius' brother and sister, I look at, I see Dem- Demetrius is there all the time with us. And that's sad for us. So that's Demetrius' stepfather, Raymond Paul, who was outside of court. So what, what happens now? So the two defendants, Winter and Tiamo, have been remanded in custody. They'll appear on the 5th of November for sentencing, and that's for murder and kidnapping. They both pleaded guilty to kidnapping charges at the start and during the trial. Um, Lena and Raymond told me this afternoon that they're actually engaged and they'd love to get married um, at some point after that November sentencing date. They want to get some final sense of closure and then try and move on with their lives. Thanks, Annika. Annika Smith there, um, talking about the two murder verdicts in that case, which the evidence was absolutely horrendous.